Vlog. We are back with you guys today for season two, episode three, Miles to Go. All right. No so, character introductions. Yeah, today. we had no real new characters introduced in this episode, so let's get going with the summary. So Eric doesn't pull rank to get Michelle to let him take over the investigation on uh, there's two lost hikers in the woods so they need to like just go out through the woods um, looking and he gets him her to do that by not pulling rank and saying that he's gonna use Jill yeah she uh, as his guide she actually agrees and lets him go because she was you know intending to go because of her knowledge of the bush mm -hmm. um, so then um, Sarah um, is expecting to go on vacation um, gets uh, Jerry to hold all her mail He's like, what personal mail? <laughs> <laughs> so Eric agrees to pay Joe eventually after some back and forth. $175 a day. Now, originally, jo um, Eric's offer was $50 to yeah. be his like, guide and whatever per day. And then Eric, uh, Joe's like 200 and they like bicker back and forth. And Joe's... Joe doesn't work for free. Yeah, well, and also he get he it's a lot closer to his number than Eric's. Yeah, yeah. Joe <laughs> definitely holds all the cards in this negotiation because uh -huh. Eric needs them. Uh -huh. um, so a plane comes in, the mail arrives, um, checks for everybody, and no replacement for Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's really pissed off because she was <laughs> expecting somebody to be there to replace her. She was literally like waiting for her to show up, and she wasn't there. Uh -huh. So that means that she's probably not going to get to go on her vacation. So yeah, Sarah, and which leads to Sarah turning Rosie away at the health center um, for a weighing in. She's just because she missed her appointment by twenty minutes. She's really upset about her. Yeah, Rosie's, and she's definitely not handling it the greatest. But. Yeah, Rosie's on a health kick, she's trying to lose some weight, mm -hmm. and yeah, Sarah's taking out her problems on her. Mm -hmm. So the caribou. Um, approaches Eric, um, or a caribou approaches Eric. Which, if you guys remember from very early on last season, there is a very significant um, meaning to this as later on Joe kind of goes over it, but um, he had put his head on, uh, sorry, his foot on the caribou's head and took in a picture and showed disrespect. So they haven't been around for 13 years. Yeah. And all of a sudden, one approaches Eric. So, yeah. So when Eric tells him mm -hmm. about this, Joe completely faints. Yeah. Actually, and like passes out He's on the like, ground. Like, like, you sure it's a caribou? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Eric's just like all nonchalantly, like, yeah, if it's like the one over my staircase, yeah, I know right. what it looks like. And then Joe just like faints. But <laughs> yeah, it's like to him, it's just, what can this mean? So Rosie complains about Sarah to uh, kind of Lois and Ellen and Michelle who works in um, mm -hmm. at the coffee shop and um, yeah that leads to Michelle inviting Sarah over to Scrabble um, for which Sarah declines. Yeah, yeah Sarah says she's got some reading to do that night I mm -hmm. think. So then um, Eric tries to radio Michelle um, and Basically, they don't really get into the conversation too much, and the batteries run out. So. And Eric forgot to pack extra batteries. Yeah. yeah, that's not a good idea when you go out. It's just Vegas. funny. Michelle's I, like, I, I might have done the same. But. He's like, she's like, did you forget? I remember to pack extra batteries, and then the radio dies, and he's like, no, I did not remember to pack extra batteries. <laughs> so Joe. Um, Thinking that maybe that this is some kind of omen with mm -hmm. the caribou uh, wants to find out its meaning. Yes, um, he so wants uh, pro pro he wants to perform a ceremony. He yeah. says. Yeah, to find out maybe if it's an omen that his time has come or something. Mm -hmm. So he builds a sweat lodge. And then Shara, Shara, <laughs> Sarah shows up at Scrabble unexpectedly with chocolate. Yeah, yeah. So you know they get a little bit of action there, and then. It turns into some girl gossip, and they're talking about... About butt! 
Yeah, we've got the best bud in town, and uh... um, for some reason, um, M Michelle brings uh brings up her brother for good luck, King, and then <laughs> Ellen is like says that Peter's got the best bud in town, and Rosie counters with Eric, which makes all the girls giggle. Yeah, but and then Sarah chimes in with a buzz kill. Awkward yeah, she comment. makes it so awkward. <laughs> She's talking about uh, how Eric thinks his 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 butt's the best too. Yeah, yeah. how she thought that uh, he thought he wanted a mirror on the ceiling while uh, they were making love. Or yeah, something. and he went applause out, and like <laughs> he should almost give him applause afterwards or yeah. something. Like that's funny. Yeah. But, <laughs> so, anyways, um. Then Joe uh, pleads to look for the caribou again. He like this means a lot to him, obviously, because I guess it's personally part of his situation. And Jerry tries to talk to TV, which this was really surprising for me. Uh, Jerry, seeing this other side of Jerry, like yeah, he hasn't been a very nice guy so far. Well, it also, um, like, he's really, like, going out of his way, and it seems like he's really trying to help TV in this situation. Yeah, um, he's, uh, It was nice to see Jerry in the, this different light, I thought. Yeah, and TV, as usual, with just about anybody who tries to help him or give him advice. Uh, he's not very receptive. Tells him to screw off, basically. Not in so many words. Mm -hmm. But then Elsie shows up, um... She's concerned that he's hungry and telling him that his mother isn't actually worried about him even though they had fought earlier mm -hmm. on. Um, so Michelle offers Sarah someone to talk to if she ever needs someone to talk to. And she invites her over to Tuesday Night Scrabbles, and, uh, uh, which is because they do Scrabble yeah, every like Tuesday night. Yeah, ongoing thing. Yeah, between all the girls, um, Sarah, Ellen, Lois, Rosie. Um, and Sarah kind of uh, just blows her off type, um, like, yeah, Scrabble's not really my thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, she didn't seem to fit in too well that night, but that was for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So then Sarah, um, brings a baby book to TV, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he's like, bring it to Bertha, and she says, you know, it's for fathers, and my wife wrote here it that... Uh, he acted like a dickweed, and I gotta agree, I mean, he really, like, uh, acted like a jerk, even though she was actually trying to do something to help him out. Yeah, well, I thought, again, like, that, um, especially early on, we don't see a whole lot of Sarah, like, going out of her way with people, but this was her, like, I th actually trying to go out of ho her way and help TV. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I, again, another nice part of it was that, um, so yeah, Joe and Eric find the hikers, which ends to Joe losing the his, the spirit guide that um, they were following. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it went far beyond, and the hikers were right there. One yeah. obviously really injured, and Joe lets it go to help them. Yeah, he was basically saying that he could tell that the that the spirit was out there in mm -hmm. the like the wilderness beyond, but he just wasn't able to see it. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, and, it ha and all of it had, all of this had something to do with Eric. That, yeah, it um, looks like it, yeah. That's what, well, that's what he says as soon as he comes out of the sweat lodge. Yeah, when he had come out of the sweat lodge, he mentioned that. Yeah. So, yeah, um, hikers were, are brought back to town where Kenji has a broken leg. Kenji is, some of you guys may not remember this correctly, Kenji is not the hiker that we see walking and talking around. Kenji is the hiker that you don't actually see his face at all really, with the broken leg and everything. Um, the person talking doesn't have a name. Uh, hiker yeah. is what he goes by on credits. So, yeah. Yeah, and then Sarah treats the leg. Mm -hmm. um, and Lois talks to TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that gets a little bit physical, actually, because mm -hmm. Lois, like, he's not really paying attention to her. And she wants to really convey to him that, you know, She's not happy with the fact that she, um, Birth is pregnant, and I think, like, or well, she says it's because that she got pregnant at a young age, and mm -hmm. she was hoping that TV wouldn't have to go through stuff like that, basically. Yeah. Um, so then, from there, uh, Eric and Michelle talk about the caribou, where uh, Michelle tells uh, convinces Eric to you know go back to Joe and ask him one more time, even though he's already asked him. 
Um, and we Woo! Rosie has lost 25 pounds. Go Rosie. Now, what I love about this is not just like the losing weight part of her looking at good, but it's great seeing Rosie like this. Like, it's not just she, you know, looks good because of the weight loss. She looks and feels good, so it makes her look better because she's, you yeah, know, she's happy. Like, she's and positive, she, yeah, she's exactly. Towards a goal. Yeah, cool. she just seems, you know, it's mm -hmm. really nice to see her so much happier because, especially in season one at the beginning, you know, like, you guys saw that picture uh, we used of her scowling at Leon. Yeah, I yeah. mean, um,. So yeah, it's it's nice to see her a lot more happier this season. So then Eric talks to Joe about the caribou again, mm -hmm. um, and then that leads to Eric, or sorry, Joe saying that you know he's gonna have to look for it. Yeah, and um, so that leads to Leon and Eric going to search. Yeah, uh, Leon goes because he says that Joe told him to go so Eric doesn't get lost. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> Le you can tell like by the way Leon's reacting, it's like he doesn't really think there's a caribou, it seems, at <laughs> least in my opinion. So, yeah, and then Elsie and TV talk. Um, so, yeah, we see Elsie come out of the outhouse and uh, back and then... Um, walk uh, walk to that beautiful spot on the river and sit right next to TV and they have this really beautiful talk about life yeah. and the baby. Yeah, and she's Just trying to... Just everything that he needs. Yeah, basically, like, he realized, and I mentioned when we were re-watching this to my wife, that um, Elsie's the only person that could talk to TV at this point because he's just such a prick sometimes to, to just about everybody but her. So, you know, she actually is able to kind of talk to him. And, and But she, you know, another thing is she actually cares about him. Like, mm -hmm. most of the people have been kind of bitching at him since he got Bertha pregnant. She's actually, actually asking him, you know, how are you, you know, yeah. how are you doing, right? And he hasn't been asked that yet. Yeah, you know? a lot and of people he... are, are, are really, like, asking how Bertha is and everything and mm -hmm. constantly asking him that. And I think I think with TV, like, that, especially, like, the towns people know him, I think it's just, it was, it's not a good idea. It's just, all, I think it's just pushing him further and further away from the baby right now. Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, I think Elsie's helping push him back slowly. Yeah. So the caribou comes to Eric again, uh -huh. and he shoes it away. Yeah, and he, he, asks, he asks it what it wants. He yells it, at yeah, it. And it just runs away. Uh, he has the gun pointed at and it, he, but he just doesn't he want can't, to shoot it again. Yeah, so. he just can't shoot it. And um, so Michelle and Sarah talk. And Samara. Uh, Samara. <laughs> Um, cool, <laughs> sorry, uh, I don't even know where that came from. Sarah admits her attitude problems. Yeah, she. Um, uh, she admits that she's pretty much been a bitch. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, she says she's been a real shit lately. Is what she meant. She actually says, and mm. you know, um, Michelle is basically. He makes the point, like, because she says, you know, I'd like to go somewhere right where sometimes nobody where knows where no one knows me, and Michelle says, no one knows you here. Yeah, you don't let anybody know you. Yeah. And I think that kind of, like, clues Sarah in, like, maybe I am shut out from the town, but maybe it's also partially my fault because I shut them out. So then Eric and Joe have a talk about mm -hmm. the caribou and its meaning. Yeah, and I I love it. Joe's just, his words so simple and everything, but it's just so powerful the way he says it. Uh, everything. Like he doesn't really know what it means. Came to Eric, you know, but yeah. yeah, he basically just leaves it for Eric to interpret, right? Because mm -hmm. he knows that this is a thing for Eric to find out. Yeah, for exactly. And uh, like, like, um, so yeah, and he just like took, um, you know, what Eric did. And he's just, you know, like, yeah, like that. That's your journey with the character. Yeah, that's you know? how it had to go, right? Like, I think he believes that, however that encounter went is how it would go. It was kind of like fake, right? Mm -hmm. Either way, I, I really liked it. It was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess we will get to discussion. Discussion. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Sorry. Um, did you think Rosie was overreacting? I mean, in the, uh, this was specifically in the coffee shop. So like, 
Um, and when she's complaining about obvi Sarah. Obviously Sarah's like gone uh, like really upset this episode and obviously she's she's been at the wrong. But I was wondering, did you think Rosie was also like overreacting a bit in the coffee shop? Like, um, I don't know, because even everybody else seemed to think she was. But yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I did. I mean, she. I mean, not. You know, I understand. Like, she was mad. Like, Sarah could have at least let her weigh in. She was mm -hmm. mad because, you know, but she did. Pardon me. I think she did kind of overreact because I she said that Sarah chewed her out mm -hmm. and. Sarah did kind of like, the way she said, you know, you're late, like it was like, you know, kind of like a, a bitchy way, but she didn't like continue to bitch her out. Yeah, well, that's what, uh, that's what exactly actually a point I brought up while we were watching the show. I'm like, wait, she didn't even really chew her out, like why mm -hmm. is she saying that? Uh, but like, in my opinion, because of the way I define the word, I wouldn't even say she chewed her out at all, mm -hmm. but that's because of the weird way I define words, so. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I shouldn't become a dictionary so what's whoever your, writes the dictionary <laughs> so what's your opinion on how Lois handled TV um you think she was a little tough I, I just it it seems constantly Lois is trying to do stuff with TV that always like doesn't work and backfires and she seems to like parent like only want to parent him when he's in really big trouble she doesn't parent him all the way through and I think that's really what messes up their relationship and their whole respect thing for each other is he is she's not a constant person and, and she doesn't constantly parent him on mm. these issues and especially now I mean TV though is also like such a big problem well, I think sometimes too like at that point like yeah, well, yelling isn't gonna point. matter right yeah, well, and so it's probably gonna force him like away or force him to do more so the things that you don't want him to do like mm -hmm. he'd probably be better off being supportive and saying listen yeah well know, especially like Elsie like, kept talking to her too like you know mm -hmm. you need to yeah Elsie busts in at the end there after mm -hmm. TV storms out and you know kind of argues with Lois about it saying that you know um, Lois says she mm -hmm. he's just like his dad and she says uh, TV's not mean mm -hmm. right so that implies you know his dad, Billy, was a mean guy. and Well, we already he, knew he was abusive. Yeah, but in general, it sounds like he was just kind of a jerk. And mm -hmm. TV really isn't like that, like to people in general. I mean, mm -hmm. at least not to his family. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's my take on it. <laughs> so, um, so as uh, this is kind of a joke question I had <laughs> wrote on our page, do you agree with Rosie? Does Eric have the nicest butt in town? Mm -hmm. Now, I forgot to actually ask everybody's permission on, on the post for uh, comment uh, things, so I'm not going to bother really saying them, but uh, <laughs> you guys were funny. Uh, some really feisty ones on Eric um, yeah, agreeing. You, you definitely tell some you guys were checking you out guys, No, like those comments <laughs> were like thirsty comments. Um, <laughs> And then, like, also, uh, the, the other ones disagreeing were leaning towards either Sarah or yeah. Michelle. So, uh, d yeah. John Oliver, Jerry Bean, if you're watching this, girls want your butt. <laughs> <laughs> or at least they did back in the 90s. Well, yeah, well, they still do because they still are commenting about it. <laughs> so, anyways, that's it for this week. Um, yeah. Another great episode. It was fun. We'll see you next week with season two, episode four, Hostage. Yeah, that's a good one. And we've got some two new characters who we've also seen before, yeah. as well as two new ca new characters. All right. So we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. Oh, and don't forget, March 27th, tune in for our trivia night, guys. It is on the events tab of our Facebook page. Yeah, that's going to be fun, so check it out for sure. See you later.